It's a very important topic to get you familiar with our Capital Ready Package, specifically 10 steps for guaranteed access to 100,000 plus in small business funding. I'll tell you about where this came from, who we are, most importantly, how it works, and then we'll wrap up with some frequently asked questions and encourage you to apply. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, our 501c3, which is Business Credit Literacy, logos down here in the bottom left, we started back in 2016, received our IRS designation in September of 2016. We originally formed to help small businesses access capital, but the original focus was more on business credit, accessing capital with no personal guarantees off the EIN alone. Now that has grown, we received a new grant which funds the Capital Ready Package which we're talking about today. The Capital Ready Package is administered through Innovative Capital Strategies and you'll see that logo frequently. So two almost sister companies if you will, Business Credit Literacy, the nonprofit focusing on education and outreach, ICS is focused on the administration of the programs. We'll go through what that means more in a moment. But collectively what we do is we assist participants in becoming capital ready so that they meet the underwriting criteria to pursue an SBA loan. Underwriting means it's the, the checklist, if you will, that the lender is looking for an applicant to meet, to be approved. If you understand the underwriting and you meet the underwriting, they wire money into your account. You're approved. If not, then there's a hundred different ways that they can say no. Now, we help small businesses with multiple types of business loans, focusing on low interest business loans, but SBA loans are especially valuable and we've put together a special SBA loan program. It goes up to $150,000. Now I realize that some of you may need more than 150,000, but this could be just the first 150,000 because it has simplified underwriting. And what I mean by that is number one, it's a low interest loan. It's capped by the government. It, it'll never be expensive. It'll be affordable money and it's set off of the prime rate. It has a 10 year repayment term which makes your payments lower because it's divided over 120 months. It's set up as working capital. So you can use it in general for just about anything you want. It doesn't have to be equipment or hard assets. And it has easy credit score requirements. Only a 165 FICO to qualify. We'll help you understand what that means and how you qualify and what all that includes. It's fast too, which isn't listed there on the page. Our preferred banking partner is funding these in, in an average of just 15 days. So this is kind of the flagship program. We help clients raise more capital or different types of capital, but this special SBA loan program is especially valuable for most small businesses. Now the SBA wants to loan more money, but you need to be qualified. And that's what we're going to do is help you become qualified, help you meet the underwriting criteria, and we guarantee it'll work. Why is the capital ready package needed? Well, most small businesses want and need more capital to start and grow, but often they don't qualify for bank and SBA loans. So what they're left doing is using their personal funds, personal credit, or high risk, high cost types of funding. We want to provide an alternative to that. Our program was put together by a group of experts, current and former business bankers, small business development center advisors, SCORE mentors, and others to help fix this problem. Small businesses need capital. The SBA wants to loan more money. Let's pull the two together and let's make that happen. Now, even as we're in the process of getting you credit worthy or qualified to meet the, the criteria, the underwriting criteria, there are other forms of interim financing that we can access during that process and we'll talk about some of those. But the bottom line is we're going to go through the 10 step process in detail and help you understand what we're going to be doing together, how it works, and the typical time commitment.
Let's start with talking about the leadership team. I'm really proud to brag a little bit about these folks. Uh, Chuck Vanderbilt is our chief operating officer. He's an experienced SBA, USDA, and small business lender. That doesn't mean that he's been a, a loan broker. He's been the lender. Prior to that, he was the executive director, and prior to that, an advisor of a small business development center. So Chuck is, is responsible for managing the client process. He and his team will be working with you to guide you through the 10 steps I'm going to describe in a moment. Karen Thompson, attorney, JD, our chief legal comp counsel. Myself, I'm one of the co-founders along with uh, the others. I'm a former SCORE mentor. I was responsible for workshops for a 14 county area and worked with small businesses. Uh, coming out of graduate school, I was a senior consultant with Deloitte and & Touche and also am a small business development center advisor. Maybe most importantly is the last bullet here, our national advisory board. We're actively building a national advisory board of small business mentors. This may be something you'd be interested in as well, but our small business mentors work in their local community, help educate and help assist small businesses. They're paid by a grant. They're actually paid $1,000 in a grant stipend for every small business that they help mentor. Anyway, so that's the leadership team, qualified, capable, ready to assist. Let's dig into the 10 steps now. Step one is enrollment. That's how we get started, and we use a DocuSign agreement to get started. So we're all clear in how it works. Now, the Capital Ready Package is free. It's grant funded. However, the grant has a trigger, so you need to understand how that works, that the grant trigger is once you have reached your $100,000 goal or higher. So we've, we've injected at least $100,000 into the participant. That's when the grant funding kicks in. Well, there's a whole bunch of work to be done prior to that. So we collect a refundable deposit and that refundable deposit covers the cost of doing that. And that refundable deposit is refunded once you've met that $100,000 threshold, which is guaranteed. This is good because it has it provides skin in the game for the participants, and we all know human nature is if you have some investment, then you tend to be more committed and more willing to follow through. And understand that you could you don't have to use our program, right? You could go hire a CPA and go hire an attorney and go get some bankers and get them all together. You know, be prepared for retainers and billable hours and probably an expense of ten to twenty thousand, but. The bottom line is we've got a free grant funded program called our Capital Ready Package to do all this for you. There is a refundable deposit, but it is refunded back as long as you participate. Step one continued. The amount of the refundable deposit varies based upon the work that you need us to do for you, right? It makes sense. The more work that needs to be done, the more the cost. However, we can finance that amount so usually you'll have zero out of pocket and we are very transparent. So in that DocuSign packet I mentioned earlier, you'll get a broken down itemized checklist so you can get exactly what you need. On average, it's a $2,500 refundable deposit and almost in all circumstances, we finance that so there's zero out of pocket. Now, if for some reason you're not credit worthy enough to be able to finance the $2,500 or whatever the refundable deposit may be, you're not able to pay out of pocket, then option C is our opportunity fund. Also grant funded, it can fund the refundable deposit for you. And in summary, the way that it works, it can provide up to $10,000 per month into your business. So that is, is marvelous, right? Because now we're creating maybe positive cash flow. If you didn't have it before, it's improving your bank rating. It's improving your balance sheet. It's improving your income statement. It's giving you working capital to work with. It's not debt, does not have to be paid back. It's built off of the SCORE model, which I mentioned earlier was involved with this concept. And if you want to look up SCORE, it's SCORE, S-C-O-R-E dot O-R-G. So, we can help you. If you have an interest in raising capital to start or grow a business, almost always we can find a way to make that happen. Let's continue on. So now we've enrolled, we're on to step two, our business plan. Everyone tells you you need a business plan, right? Well, a lot of people are going to tell you wrong because the business plan needs to be tailored specifically to the audience that's going to use it. 
we focus on a business plan that specifically meets the underwriting expectations of the lender. No more, no less. We're going to take care of all the formatting for you. We're going to collect the information very easily through a, a set of questions, a kind of a survey that we'll send you online. Probably it's going to take you less than 30 minutes. We'll take care of everything else. But it's going to be focused specifically on what the lender wants. Nothing more, nothing less. That way we have the optimal chance of making it through their underwriting. Step three is a personal financial statement. This again is very important. We're going to work with you to put together, and it shows your assets and liabilities and net worth. There's typically some barriers that we see in, in small businesses putting together a good or an accurate or an optimal personal financial statement. We're very good at that, so we're going to work with you to do so. As I mentioned, we're developing a national team of small, small business mentors who locally in the community will be able to sit down with you educate you and assist you in developing this document. We're normally using the SBA form, the SBA version of it, which is called 413. And so there is an art to optimally creating a personal financial statement. We'll help you do that. And that's going to help you get approved for funding and also impact the amount. And again, this is going to take probably 30 minutes to an hour of your time. Step four, business compliance. Compliance is never a fun word, but what we're going to do here is gather the data that we need to prepare for the loan. And so that's going to be things like tax returns, personal and business, if your business is filed, bank statements, and so forth. Again, no one is disqualified at this point. You really can't become disqualified anywhere through the process. We're gathering data to find out where you're at, and we're going to help you get from where you're at to where you need to be. We just need you to be compliant, work with us, and we'll navigate that process. Again, time commitment here, typically an hour. It, you know, If you haven't filed your tax returns in the last three years, and it's going to take some more time, but in general, pretty brief, just getting us documents that you should already have, not asking you to create anything. Step five, this is my favorite step primarily because it's the step that I'm most involved with and it's where our nonprofit originated in building the business credit worthiness of your EIN so you don't have to use personal guarantees. It's a fast way to access capital, keeps it off your, your personal credit report. This is relevant because the SBA uses the FICO SBSS methodology, which I made reference to before, and it includes looking at your business credit worthiness. So specifically, we're going to help you get at least an 80 credit score, business credit score, on Dun & Bradstreet, which is called your Paydex score, and on your Experian business, which is called your IntelliScore. This is about a $5,000 package if you just went out and bought it. It's included, no additional cost, for free in the Capital Ready program. I know you're going to love it. We can uh, just spend about one hour together in the first month to create a baseline, or if you want, it's included, no additional cost, work consistently month to month, continue to build your business credit worthiness. You can even end up getting MasterCard, Visa, American Express, credit cards, and your EIN only business cars and much uh, automobile leases, financing, uh, et cetera. All right, so that takes us over to step six. Personal credit also matters because it's part of the FICO underscoring, uh, underwriting criteria. Don't worry about if your personal credit's not so good. You don't have to have great credit. We'll help you navigate that. We're not a credit repair program, but we're very effective in helping you meet the underwriting criteria. And any business owner with 20% more or more of ownership, this is going to be relevant on, just like the personal financial statement back on step three. We're going to need a personal financial statement for every business owner on record with 20% or more ownership. Again, not a big deal. We're going to navigate you through it. It's going to work. But that is step six. Step seven, we're looking forward at revenue projections, breaking it down month by month over a 36-month period. I know that can be challenging, you know, who knows what my revenue is going to look like in month 32 from now. But the bottom line is we need to make projections, we need to be able to state what our assumptions are for those projections, we need to get them in the right format for the lender, we'll take care of the formatting, we'll be extracting data from you. Again, not a big time commitment in most cases. 
Complementary to that are expenses. We need to look out 36 months. We need to understand what are your expenses projected to be month by month. We'll collect data from you. We'll handle the formatting. Probably could take you about an hour. Not a big deal. That moves us on to, to step nine, uses of funds. Imagine this is kind of your, your shopping list, right? What are you going to buy? Where are you going to buy it from? And how much is it going to cost? It's important. It's relevant to make sure we're going after the right amount of capital. We can build in working capital and cushion and contingency fees as well. But we need to know where we're going to spend the money, categorize it, and make sure we're pursuing the right type of capital for the circumstance. We'll again handle the formatting. We'll just collect the data from you. Probably won't take more than an hour. Maybe that you've put a lot of this already together. Maybe you've done none of this. It's okay. Wherever you are in that spectrum, we'll get it done. Step 10 is, is our goal, right? We want to get to step 10. We've collected all the data. It's going to go to our committee. Our committee is going to review it and do two very important things. Number one, we're going to identify based upon your current circumstances, what's the type of capital that's best suited for you now? It's your choice, of course, but what can you get now and how much do we project it will be? That's the immediate funding. Secondly, we're going to create a roadmap to get to the ultimate goal, your long term. How much do we need ultimately in capital, whether it's one million, five million, eight million, it doesn't matter if it's a big amount or small amount. This is the process we go through. Now, if you've been participating in our opportunity fund, which I mentioned earlier on, you're already probably receiving some cash injection even before we get to this point. To get to committee, we need to go through those prior nine steps. Timeline is really based upon you, not us. We'd like to get through them as quickly as possible because we want to get to that grant funding. Frequently asked questions. We have a couple pages of these. Number one, how long does the process take? That's exactly what we're just talking about. Once we get it to our preferred lender, they're funding, they're underwriting and funding in an average of 15 days. Isn't that incredible for an SBA loan? That is good stuff. Now, beforehand, though, of course, we need capital ready to submit that application. How long that takes is really based upon your circumstance. Shouldn't take long. If we need to access some interim financing, we can. We will help everyone get there. When is a refundable deposit refunded? Well, as I've mentioned, I think a time or two, the grant is written that we need to get each participant at least a $100,000 capital raise. You might say, well, I don't need $100,000. That's too much. Well, great. Maybe it's a line of credit. So you can pull from it if you need it. You don't pull from it otherwise. Maybe it's a, a company automobile. There's different ways to get to that $100,000 if that's technically not what you're looking for. But once we get to at least $100,000, that snaps the, the grant funding. We're able to get that and then refund your refundable deposit. Frequently asked questions, page number two, are there any other costs? Well, we answer that kind of cautiously, yes and no. There aren't other costs for the program itself, but there are obviously costs of being in business and doing business properly. You need to file tax returns every year. Not a cost to us. We don't do tax returns, but you need to be doing that. We're going to need business credit reports, at least one in the beginning, to see where you're at. If you want to take advantage of the free program so we can help you navigate month by month, then we're going to need monthly business credit reports. That's not paid for by the grant. You're going to need to obtain and maintain proper insurance. All these things you probably should be, maybe you already are doing, but there are costs of being in business, doing business credibly. So that's why we, we kind of don't say no, there's no other cost, because you need to comply with those types of requirements. We call those incidental costs. There are not additional costs for the capital ready package though. Whatever your refundable deposit is the full amount. Once we have you capital ready, if you want our help to go to funding, we can do that. There are no advance fees for that. We call it a performance fee and it's based solely based upon the results we've been able to help you raise the amount of capital. All right. Frequently asked questions, page number three. Let's say you and I were in a, an, an, uh, an elevator and you ask, well, give me the 30 second concise uh, response of why someone would want to enroll in the Capital Ready and Business Funding Program. Here's the four things I would say to you. Number one, most small businesses want and need capital, but they don't qualify for SBA loans and, some, and, and most business loans. And so what we're going to do is provide personalized assistance to become guarantee, capital ready and guarantee a capital raise of 100000 So that is, is powerful in itself. 
we're the only ones that have received the grant funding for this capital ready program. So again, about a $10,000 package of, of professional services being provided at no cost. That's pretty good. The business credit portion alone, step five, which we talked about is worth several thousand dollars. And again, it's included at no cost through the capital ready program. And then lastly, we have the opportunity fund, grant funded money injected into your business, not debt, doesn't have to be paid back. So I think we have a really strong value proposition. Again, you got to remember, we were formed with the input of business lenders, needed to send their clients that, that, that applied for funding that didn't get approved, with SCORE mentors and SBDC advisors. There are many good resources out there, but there's no one else that has this package, it has this value proposition. Frequently asked questions next is, what happens if my business doesn't qualify? Well, you're missing the point because everyone qualifies as long as you have a legal business that's compliant with the process. You'll qualify, we will be successful. We're going to create a roadmap and get from here to there. We guarantee results so there's no risk and there's no exclusions in general. Again, needs to be legal businesses, you need to be compliant with the process. So with that being said, let's get started. Uh, we have our website here at the bottom. If you go to Innovative Capital Strategies over to the far right hand side says Capital Ready Package, you click on that. On the right hand side is an application. It's a brief application. One of our mentors can help you fill it out. You can do it yourself. It takes you probably five, seven, ten minutes to knock that out and that's all that you need to do to get started. Of course, if you want to email us or call us for uh, with questions or further clarification, that's fine as well. Thank you for your time. We are excited to work with you. We hope you have an opportunity to work with you as a client, and maybe even as a small business mentor. Thank you and have a great day.